everybody, this is Epic Squirrels from the Epic Worlds. That's my Epic Pandas impersonation. Here we are in the mayor's house, and Mirror B is just boogied off. Dance off with these three guys. Chikorita's Evolution Chain, you can get one from him, second form. Which I can't remember because I hate Chikorita's Evolution Chain. There's very few Pokemon I hate, but Chikorita's Evolution Chain just does not do it for me. There. It's seriously annoying me that I can't remember the second form of Typhlosion and of Cyndaquil. Whatever. It'll come back to me later. This is the second time I'm recording this. I don't mind if I'm a little pissed off. Because in this one, the whole aim is to try and catch a Pokemon. Yeah. Killed it last time. Because of fucking hyper mode. Which you'll see in a bit. I'm angry pressing this X button. Which I have to remember not to do because I keep playing back in all the videos. Thank you, Pokemon Center Bimbo. For getting my three Pokemon. Alright. And then there's the third guy. The blue guy. He's very blue. The very blue guy. He is, um, racist. Just kidding. He's not racist. He's got Croconaw. And we want to catch Croconaw. We also want to train. Well, we, got, we want to turn Maquita more friendly. I'll show you in the summary what this is. Okay, now I want. Oh, yeah, right there. If you look at the. Look on the thing and look at heart gauge. The door to its heart is tightly shut. You've got this purple bar split up into sections. At the top, the door to the heart is tightly shut and it gets sort of. You know, it's, it's getting looser every time you get down to a new section. This thing. If you remember when we caught it, and if you look at the thing now, it's got a black aura, which means the door to its heart has been artificially closed. It's bollocks, I know, but just stay with me. Um, therefore, if you battle with it enough and call its name a lot when it goes into hyper mode, which is this thing only black aura Pokemon can do, um, then you can open its heart again, and then it can level up normally and evolve and stuff. So, yeah, and the cool thing is it it will regain when you purify a Pokemon, which is opening the door to its heart. It will regain all the XP that it lost during these battles where you don't get XP as a Shadow Pokemon. And there's this thing called Hyper Mode that pissed me off in the last battle, and it will probably Hyper Mode will probably occur in this battle, and then you'll see what I'm talking about. And you will know why I got pissed. And swore quite heavily into the microphone. Blue no. <laughs> There's our crocodile. So, woman, I forgot your name. Kathy. Oh, that woman. Kathy, can you tell me anything strange about that crocodile? Looks like she can. It's the Pokemon with the black aura. Oh. Right then. Confusion, just quickly deal with that. It's super effective. Pow! Suck it, bitch. <laughs> I love some of the fainting animations. Did you see his eyes? Go back in the video and look at his eyes. They were all curly. Look at his tongue, look at his tongue. I am Indian, American Indian, not real Indian. It annoys me that people call Americans Indians. Fucking shit already. Okay, so this is hyper mode where you will just ignore the attack you told it to do and go into hyper mode. You can then do attacks afterwards, but they'll probably go critical or they'll ignore you and hit you. And I kept trying to call him out so I could make him just do it in normal mode. So I wouldn't get a critical hit and kill the Croconaw. So I had to, but I kept going back into hyper mode. And I really want to catch this Croconaw. So I had to hit it in hyper mode and I got a critical hit and killed the Croconaw. Pissed me off. So now I have to hope it doesn't happen again. Return. Badass attack. You guys have to watch how badass this animation is. Ha! 
Hearts. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Don't bite me, please. Anything but the biting. I don't like to be bitten. Now. Fucking kidding me. Suppose that solves that problem though, the whole hyper mode problem. Seeing as these ones aren't shadow Pokemon, they can't actually go into hyper mode. Now I just don't know what to what do what to Croconaw. Can't actually deal with Spoink. Return Croconaw. Return's pretty powerful because return increases. Ah, not on him apparently. Well, anyway, the way the remove return works is it's stronger the more your Pokemon loves you. The happier your Pokemon is with you, the more it will attack with return. So, yeah. So, return's already pretty good when you get this game because there's a background story with these two Pokemon in this game where they've been with you a long time. Okay. I'm gonna do helping hand. Yeah. Eevee evolutions helping each other, isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? Hey bro, it's not nice. I'm not actually entirely sure what helping hand does. I know it helps the other Pokemon in some form, but does it make their attack more powerful or what? I'm just going to do that again until we get a good a good health to try and catch this thing out. Second time I tried this because of hyper mode. Oh. <laughs> the wave took up the entire battlefield, but sure, we just avoided it. Can I do secret power again one more time without killing it? I'm gonna risk it. But it's gonna be a critical hit in it, and then I'm gonna have to record this again. Again. So, yes. Oh no, that's gonna do something that gives it recoil, isn't it? Okay, so let's look at the Pokemon who has more HP. Umbreon, evidently. Always throw with the Pokemon who has more HP. Because that's how Pokeballs work. The more effective, the more HP the Pokemon that you're using has. Espeon will just like. Flecked. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Come on, let's do this. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go come on. Let's do this. Come on. Shake it at once. Shake it twice. Shake it three times. Yes! Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy right now. That's what you get, Mystery Troop Bruno, for going, do you really think you can take me in battle? Me and my level 26 Grimer. Got a lot of cash for that battle. Sweet. That, it's a Pokemon we turned into a fighting machine by artificially closing a door to its heart. That's what I was talking about before. No, you didn't. You artificially closed the door to that poor Pokemon's heart. Caps Lock Rage. You artificially closed the door to that poor Pokemon's heart. Hence, knowing that there's not anything to help you do anything. Yeah, that's what I was talking about before we battle with it, and that bar goes down. So it looks like we've got a new place on our map. Should we heal? We'll shoot heal, and then we'll go visit Pirate Town, and then we'll finish. And I'll see you later. This is part 5? No, part 4. This is part 4, I think. I can't remember. I'll look at the old videos on YouTube already. On the YouTubes. <laughs> now then I 
if we look to our map we can see that we've got a new place and I know that's not Pirate Town she said we we're supposed to be going to Pirate Town but it looks like for some reason he's gonna have to stop at the, at the construction lot first so we watch that epic animation it's so good it makes me jizz I love that driving animation what are they building here eh? They're definitely not building a stadium, I'll tell you that. I don't know why I'd say that. It's not any form of Coliseum. <laughs> you just ignore that guy, basically. In reality, there's no actually thing to do here. This is just to give you a sneak peek, because this place means a lot more towards the end of the game. But it's not a construction site then. They're done building then. Makes me laugh that they got three people to build a giant tower coliseum. Let's go. And if we look to our map now, we got Pyrite Town. This is like the Thug Town. Police don't know what they're doing. Criminals everywhere. You know the hardcore criminals, the ones that, that close the doors to Pokemon's hearts. Stealing Pokemon. That was the huge change in this game. Stealing. And then, oh, Mr. Johnson, give me a break here. Mr. Johnson, as you can see, is some form of police officer. That better be true, Kale. You're trying to con me. I don't know about it. Kale. Kale, Kale, Kale. Kale's character is always very strange. You don't know if he's a good guy or a bad guy. But it's probably easy. To tell. Well, there he is, Kale. What are you looking at? I haven't seen your face around these parts. If you don't want to get hurt, you get lost or quick for the good of your health. He seems like a bad guy, but he doesn't really do anything bad. And maybe he doesn't, I can't remember right now. He sounds like a retard to people who actually have played this game. So look at all the shape this place is in. It's a ghetto town. He's here in the square, I tried to leave town after us, but then those crabs grabbed me. We should be careful. Even the best of times, there's nothing normal about this town. Now, there's a lot of battles coming up in the next video, because you can battle all these people in the square. And I like the training, so I'll just make an entire video of that. No story next video. If you don't want to see that, don't watch the next part. It'll just be battling these guys. Other than that, battle!